What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys a little what I eat in a day. Um, this is not what I eat every single day. It's just kind of like a variation of it. Uh, right now it is 1.30 and my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower because I just got back from the gym. And I am going to make some lunch. So I don't typically eat before I go to the gym and I go to the gym around 11, 11.30. Um, that's just the way my gym works. There's like time slots that you have to sign in because of, because of everything with COVID. Um, so I'm starving and I think I'm going to make a panini for lunch today. I have some chicken that I have to cook up and then I have some cheese and an apple that I might put on and make a little panini. Sounds kind of good. Um, I love watching these kinds of videos just to get different ideas because I feel like I'm constantly always eating the same thing. So yeah, let's get to cooking. It's going to be just quick little meals. I don't do anything crazy. I think tonight I'm going to make chicken meatballs with zoodles and pasta because I know Kobe won't eat the zoodles. Um, but in the mornings I try to wake up and I drink, try to drink a bunch of these a day, as many as I can. I end up losing count every single day, but usually in the morning I will drink one before I go to the gym and then I have a different water bottle that's about the same size that I will drink during the gym and then when I come home I'll try and drink another before lunch. That way my body is like fueled with water. I guess I do like a little intermittent fasting. I don't really plan to do it. It's just I personally can't eat before I go work out. I've tried it and it's just a lot more difficult. I'm a lot more like sluggish and everything. So it just doesn't work for me. So I figured let's get started and get into making lunch. So the ingredients I'm using today are sourdough bread, cheddar, cheese, and a Honeycrisp apple. And you can really use whatever ingredients you want or whatever you have on hand. So the seasoning that I will be using for the chicken today is garlic powder, salt, and pepper. I really love these three seasonings a lot. I use them in pretty much everything. And I find that the salt gives the chicken a nice little crunch on the outside. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and slice up your apple slices. I slice them pretty thin because I like to kind of layer them on the sandwich and I think they add a nice crunch to it as well. As for the rest of the apple, I just cut it up into bigger chunks to have as a side with my sandwich. Once the chicken is done, I like to slice it really, really thin, as thin as I can, just because it resembles more of like a deli meat thing for me and it's a lot healthier. I decided to just have half of my sandwich because it ended up coming out huge and I just know that I can't eat the whole thing but I also cut up like the rest of the apple that I didn't use so I'll have that and let's take a bite mm. It's so good. I used to do this with like turkey cold cuts and things and I know that they're not 
the best for you. So honestly, just pan searing that chicken or grilled chicken or roasted chicken, any kind of chicken you have is a lot healthier for you. And then you can put whatever seasoning you want on it. If you want like a maple honey turkey, you can marinate it in like a sauce and then do it. If you want, you can just use whatever spices you want like I did, but honestly, this is delicious and I might have to go back for that second half. All right, so that is my first meal and I will see you guys when I'm ready for dinner. Okay, so I'm in the car now and I think it's like six o'clock, but I'm craving a Starbucks. So I think if I just get like a small one and I really only get like the green tea Starbucks. So there's not that much caffeine. I just have the world's worst headache right now. So I think if I get a Starbucks, maybe it'll make my headache go away. Um, I think that they're still open. So let's see. If I go into iced teas, they don't always have the one that I want. Yeah, it's sold out. Mm -hmm. It's like always sold out at that store. I don't know why they don't just order extras because I probably sell them out of it. <laughs> Maybe I will try an iced passion tango tea lemonade. I've never had that before. Place order, okay. So I have to go to Starbucks to pick up the drink and I have to go to Rite Aid to pick up a few things that I will definitely be showing you guys because it will definitely be eaten later tonight. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I just got back in the car from Rite Aid and I'll show you guys what my weakness is at night. It's bad. Um, and they were on sale, but these have been my new weakness. I got them. They're the Dove dark chocolate almond. And I never really liked that. I never really liked dark chocolate until just recently pretty much. And these are my favorite. It's like a very smooth kind of dark chocolate. It's not like bitter or anything. And then this is my go-to, but I had so much trouble finding this flavor. And I would go in like every store and I just thought that Dove like wasn't making them anymore. And then they had them. They're just the milk chocolate peanut butter ones, but these are my favorite. So these are like my old favorite and then the dark chocolate ones are my new favorite. So that is just what I got at Rite Aid and that will be what I eat a little bit later on. And then I also picked up my drink. I just got a little um, passion tea lemonade at all. So I figured I will give it a try. Oh, it's pretty good. It's actually like not sweet at all. I thought it was going to be so, so sweet because their lemonade usually is really sweet, but this actually tastes pretty good. I think if you don't like sweet things, like a sweet tea, I don't do that. This is really good. Like I get everything at Starbucks, like without any kind of sweetener in it because it's just overly sweet sometimes, but this I actually like. Okay, so I just got home. <laughs> Sky, come. Okay, so I just got home from my few little errands and I'm going to start cooking dinner now and I think I'm definitely going to do zoodles and chicken meatballs. So I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I'll let you guys know if it's really good and I will link it down below if it is. Um, or if you guys just want it, I will have it linked in the description below. So let's go make dinner. So these are just the ingredients that I used and were called for in the recipe. Ground chicken, Parmesan cheese, one egg, breadcrumbs, and then seasonings to your liking. I will have the recipe linked down below, but as you can see with the seasoning and the spices that I used, I kind of just eyeball it. I always tend to add more just for a better flavor. Once 
everything is mixed really well, I just take a little mini ice cream scooper and use it so my meatballs are all the same size. They're usually about a one inch by one inch round ball. Once the meatballs are slightly browned and out of the oven, I then end up putting them into my sauce that I made. I will also have the recipe for that linked down below. I do a very bare minimum sauce, but it always comes out amazing. ended up amazing and the meatballs were like the perfect texture and I can never have them stay together so I was really impressed with this recipe. I will definitely have it linked down below for you guys. After dinner I ended up having just a couple of Dove candies and this was the perfect end to my night. So that is kind of it for my day of eating. Um, you saw the few snacks that I had at night, which I normally do. And I just wanted to end this video and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support lately. Um, a couple videos ago I really opened up and I've just gotten amazing feedback from it. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.